what's up Sailor Guardians? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my Sailor Moon YouTube channel. Today I am reviewing the highly anticipated Vans Sailor Moon collaboration. I have been looking forward to this video for so long. I am so stoked about recording this because these shoes are amazing. So let's back this camera up a little bit. I'm going to clear out this space of everything that you see up here. I also have some apparel to show you as well. Let's get started. So something I did want to point out, and yes, I am wearing hollow taco on my nails, is these really cute hang tags that came on every single pair of shoes and also on all of the apparel. On the back is just a little blurb about Sailor Moon and it also has the Vans Sailor Moon logo also down at the bottom. I did notice that some of these had a yellow font for Vans and some of them had a pink font for Vans. I also wanted to point out the gorgeous boxes that came with all of the shoes. For the Lizzie Armanto capsule collection, you would receive either a white box or a cardboard box, just kind of depending on which shoes you chose. The cardboard box was for the Lizzie and the white box was for the old schools. The top of the boxes do say Vans off the wall, skateboarding, Sailor Moon. All of them have this release date right here, which was a bit confusing because it says June 3rd, 2022. However, I do believe that Vans did have to push back the collaboration. So while this does say June 3rd, they actually did not release until June 10th. All of the shoes that I got are in a 6.5 men or an eight in women's. I did not have to size up in any of these, but that's with a caveat, more on that in a bit. This box also features tons of really cool art of Sailor Moon and the inner Sailor Soldiers or Sailor Guardians on the side of the box. All of these are from the anime. You will not see any manga apparel or manga panels printed on any of the apparel or any of the shoes everything you will see in this collaboration is from the classic anime. So none of this is crystal, none of it is manga. This is the other box that you could have gotten and this one is for the regular collaboration which is not the Lizzie Armanto capsule collection. And this was something that I got to see before the release date. All of these have this beautiful holographic detailing with this really cool ribbon effect around the edges. It's very pretty and it has a little crescent moon down at the bottom. And if I do shift it in the light, you can see that it changes color. It's a very, very pretty holographic rainbow. This does have the Vans Sailor Moon logo. And the entire aesthetic for this box is very, very classic 1990s Sailor Moon. On the side, it also says off the wall in holographic text. And the other side has your shoe size. And then you have this really nice art of Sailor Moon and the inner guardians on both sides. Another very cute detail that comes with all of these is the tissue paper. It's Sailor Moon tissue paper. That was not something I was expecting. That was an Easter egg the first day that they released. Now, before I get into all of the shoes and tell you about each of those separately, I did wanna make mention to the apparel too. A few of y'all had questions about the sizing of the apparel and which ones I would recommend. So I'll show you the ones that I purchased and kind of walk you through those as well. So the first shirt that I'm wearing is the Lizzie Armanto collection black and white shirt. This does say Vans Sailor Moon down at the bottom and I got a size small. Now, the reason I know this is Lizzie Armanto is because it has this really cute detailing of Sailor Moon's compact down at one of the bottoms. So this embroidery is only found on the Lizzie Armanto collection. I got three other shirts. Of course I did. This first shirt is a classic fit. It is a size small. This one features the Vans logo on the front with the planetary symbols for all of the inner Sailor Guardians. And on the back, we have this beautiful, really large print of Sailor Moon, which was the reason I bought it because it's so cool. I just love that it's a full scale print. It's very beautiful and the printing is done very clearly. She looks really good. I love the shadow detail in her character print. And you also have the Sailor Moon logo, the English international logo down at the bottom. So this is a great shirt. I will say this one from the Lizzie Armanto collection in a size small is a lot more fitted to my figure, my like hourglass figure. This classic fit is more relaxed. It's more of a men's fit. So I got a size small, but this one is slightly bigger. Also a cute little detail for Vans is this little Vans logo on the sleeve. Now I really wanted this shirt, but they did not have it in store. So I ordered this one online. This is also a small 
It does not say classic fit on it. I would say it is slightly smaller than the white shirt as well. This one does say Vans Sailor Moon on the front. And this is the shirt that we saw in a lot of the promotional material. It's the one that has a really big print of all of the inner Sailor Guardians on the back of it. And it also has this checkered crescent moon on the back too, which I think is very, very cute. So here's a close up of this print. Down at the bottom, it does say Vans Sailor Moon. You can notice there's a little bit of an offset in the printing color right there, but it's not that noticeable. I also think the scouts look really cute. Sailor Mercury looks a little bit awkward, but it's an adorable print overall. And I do love the background colors with this gradient and the doilies. Very cute. Now this last shirt is actually a child's size shirt. It is a classic fit. I ended up getting a extra large and I would compare it to the size of the classic fit. That's about how this one fits on me. The front of this has a Vans logo, very similar to the white shirt. And the back has this really nice print of all of the inner Sailor Guardians. Here's what these girls look like in detail. I think all of them look great. All of these shirts are 100% cotton. I would recommend washing on cold and that's what they recommend as well because they probably will shrink a little bit. So if you have a tighter fit like this one from the Lizzie Armanta collection, like this one I would have to wash on cold because if I don't, it will shrink and not fit. So here's the last two items I got for apparel. I got this hoodie, which is very, very soft on the inside. It is definitely a fleece material on the inside. Very comfortable, love it. I got a small in this. However, it is a little bit baggy on me. I think that I could have sized down to an extra small and still been fine, but they didn't have an extra small at my store. And I felt like the small was still super comfy. So I'm really happy with this. I can tell that this is a capsule collection item as well, because it also has this embroidered compact, this embroidered embroidered brooch right here on the sleeve. It also has similar artwork and this artwork is made very well and, and they actually added this embroidery line, this border around the art, which I thought was really cool and that's such a nice little feature. It makes it look just a little bit more premium. I am going to be extremely careful with this hoodie though because this is the kind of artwork that could easily rip and then just kind of peel off. It's not really inked into the fabric, it's more like laying on top of it. Maybe that's why they embroidered the edges, but yeah, I'm gonna be very careful with it. I really don't wanna screw up the artwork or that would kind of ruin the whole appeal. Lastly, I got the socks. So all three of these socks are just like any other Vans socks that you could get. Uh, there are three in a pack. So in this pack of socks, we got three different ones. The first one has Luna on it and it's very soft, it's very comfy. The second one has Sailor Moon's brooch and bow. And the third one has the planetary symbols. All of them also feature the Vans print on the bottom with the Sailor Moon logo. One thing I wanna point out with socks from Vans is they have this rubber texture on the heel and that's to make them not slip down underneath your heel whenever you're wearing them. Here we have the backpack and you can tell from this video that I got of me holding it that it does feature all of the inner Sailor Scouts on the front of the backpack in their different colorway panels. There's also Luna on here as well as Tuxedo Mask. However, depending on which print you ended up getting on your backpack, you may have more of one of the characters featured than the other. The front pocket is pretty big. It's plenty of space to fit like a wallet or whatever you have. There's also a water bottle compartment and there is no water bottle compartment on the other side. The straps do have padding. They are very comfortable to wear. I have taken this thing with me on some travel for the past year and I gotta say it's one of my favorite backpacks. There's not a lot of padding in the interior of it or on the bottom so keep that in mind if you want to use this for like a laptop you'll definitely wanna be careful with that. It is very big, it's very large, so you can fit a ton of stuff inside of it. I think this would be great for if you wanna take it to school with you. And next we have the hoodie. So this is the blue Vans hoodie that was kind of hard to find when it first released. I think I ended up reaching out to a friend in Canada who bought it for me. I got this in, I wanna say a medium. I really like the print on the back. It's a very large print and I get a lot of compliments when I wear this hoodie. It's also extremely soft on the inside and I felt like it fit really, really well. 
So moving on, let's go ahead and talk about the shoes. Now I will preface this by saying that yes, I have been wearing all of these, so they are not in perfect condition, nor do I expect them to. I do intend to wear the items that I purchase in my collection. These are the Comfy Kush slip-ons, which were supposed to be a store exclusive, at least here in the United States, but we were able to find these online. You'll notice that the art on both of these is different. One features the good guys, the inner sailor guardians. The other one features the bad guys, the, the first season villains. The same can be said for the back of these. One features Sailor Moon, the other features Queen Beryl. So looking at each of these separately, you can see how they did the printing. It actually looks very, very good. The printing looks really beautiful. It's very clear, it's very crisp, but there's no blurriness with the color. Colors. Now the slip-ons do have a little bit of elastic, so they're easy to put on your feet. The elastic is white, so it matches the rest of the upper. The queen barrel print, sorry, that's ice cream. We went to Cold Stone Creamery. <laughs> The, the queen barrel print looks really good too. I love its contrast from the brighter blue side with Sailor Moon and the Guardians. I appreciate that they put Zoisite and Kunzite on the same side, and then they have Nephrite and Jedi on the other side. I think that's like, that's just something that you would do if you're a fan of Sailor Moon. You know that these two belong together. Their poses look really cool, and I think they look good overall. Barrel on the back looks totally awesome. She looks fierce and I appreciate it. She also matches the Vans off the wall logo. That's cool. The Comfy Kush slip-ons also have the Comfy Kush logo on the inside of the shoe. You can tell from the inside of these shoes that there is a little bit more support than what you would see on a normal pair of Vans. So if you are somebody who needs a little bit more arch support, you may want to consider these because they do have some arch support already built in, which means you wouldn't have to wear like a Dr. Scholl's insole, for example. So I appreciate that there's a little bit more support. These are also very, very cushy. When I tried these on and I was walking around, I noticed that they are very, very lightweight. So they're very easy to walk around in. They're very comfortable. The heel side is padded and it is very soft. So it doesn't rub into your heels at all. It doesn't feel like it's gonna give me blisters. The other edges are also padded around the sides too. And I like that. I really like that it feels like it's not going to slip off my foot or anything and it feels very true to size. When I tried these on too I felt like as far as bending them and like wearing them every day to day walking in them is very comfortable and they do have these nice rubber soles so all in all very happy with these shoes. Next I'll show you the Authentics. So these are the Authentics that I purchased. These ones we did see a lot of promotional art about and they do feature all of the Inner Sailor Guardian as well as tuxedo masks. Since these do have different print, just like the Comfy Kush slip-ons, I will show you these authentics separately. So both of them feature the same kind of backgrounds. So we have this beautiful aesthetic background from the 1990s. It, it definitely reminds me of the backgrounds you would see in the 1990s anime. So I really appreciate like all the pretty bubbles and the sparkles. Nothing other than the color is printed back on the heel. On the right shoe, we have Sailor Venus on the inside. On the outside we have Sailor Jupiter and on the front again we have Tuxedo Mask. I also wanted to point out that the tongue right here is also printed with the same kind of aesthetic colors. These also have the Sailor Moon logo on the inside. Here's the other shoe where we have this wonderful portrayal of Sailor Mars, and I love that her hair is not cut off. We actually see it flowing towards the front, which is really pretty. On the other side, we have Sailor Mercury looking cute. And on the front, we have Sailor Moon. So side by side, these are definitely screaming Sailor Moon. Now I wanted to give you a bit of a demo with these. So these are my very old Vans. I've had these since this Galaxy print was first introduced and you can tell by how like how old they look and how used they look. I've had these for maybe five, six, six years. But I wanted to show you these side by side to kind of explain how Vans get more comfortable over time. So you can tell with these, they, they've got quite a bit of stiffness to them. But if you look at my older Vans, which aren't necessarily exactly the same, you can tell like these have a much bigger heel on these authentics than these ones. But look at how easily the heel moves on these. Look at how fluid these are. Like they're very, very comfortable to wear now. They don't feel stiff. 
They don't give me blisters. I can wear these around anywhere. So if you're worried about these being too stiff or maybe giving you a blister on the back, they will in time end up being a lot more comfortable to wear kind of like these. Now, I also wanted to point out, I don't know if newer Vans have this problem, but I've had these for so long that this upper fabric has started to come loose from the sole. I've used shoe glue to make them last a long time. Also, I wanted to mention these are also true to size when looking at the length of the foot. I do feel like they are a little bit more loose around the top, but if you tighten the laces, that's not necessarily a problem. All right, let's talk about my old schools. So I have two pairs of old schools. One is called the Parisian Night print, I believe, and the other ones are the Patchworks. Now, these ones are cool. They actually have a feature that was not very well advertised, that the planetary symbols are photo reflective. So I actually recorded this video so you can see what photo reflective means. It basically means that if you stick these in front of a flashlight or some kind of direct light, you will see the planetary symbols light up. I also wanted to note that even these little stars have a little bit of photoreflectivity to them. You can notice that there's a little bit of a sheen or shininess to the print. The other thing I wanted to mention on these is that they do have suede detailing. So the back is suede right here and the navy blue on the front, as well as lining here, that is all suede. Unlike the Authentics, which have a very straight heel, these have some padding around the edges. I do wonder if this padding is going to start flaking over time as they are worn in. That does look like the kind of material that may flake after it's been used for a while. I can't comment on that because I don't have any older ones that do that right now, but this does look like that kind of material. These are the patchworks. So these are supposed to be featuring all of the cute expressions of the different Sailor Moon characters. So on the front of these patchworks, we have Luna right there. We have Sailor Venus on the side, as well as Tokyo Tower. On the back, you have Artemis. On the side, we have Sailor Jupiter. And then these patchworks do feature a whole bunch of Sailor Moon aesthetic colors. So we have the doily with the blue background here, some pinks, some more doilies and light blues. Again, there's Tokyo Tower. And we have the famous checker board print, which comes with all van shoes. Again, these are going to be more padded than the Authentics. They do have that padding all the way around where you put your foot in. Even the tongue has a little bit of padding to it, but these do have a flatter sole than the slip-ons. So if you need some kind of support for your arch, these may not be as comfortable for you. I use Dr. Scholl's whenever I need a little bit more support and those seem to work with heels especially. So that may be a consideration. Here's the other patchworks. These ones feature Sailor Mercury. We also have Sailor Moon right here on the front of this one. And then on this side, we have Sailor Mars. We also have a cute little print of Tokyo Tower on the side as well. And again, we have the Vans authentic checkerboard print. Okay, these first skate highs, uh, also a surprise for many when we first purchased these because this was also not something that was super obvious from the website if you were purchasing online. The only reason I knew about this feature is because they had a hang tag on the side that said glow in the dark. So I did record these as well right over here, but as you can see, the siding of these do glow in the dark and it is the coolest feature, I love it. So not only does the logo down at the bottom glow in the dark, but you also have all these little stars all around the shoe, all the yellow stars, all of those glow in the dark too. And that logo is on both of them. I think they slightly missed an opportunity in also making her moon stick glow in the dark because that would have been really cool. I adore these shoes. I love the fact that you have the Japanese logo. It's not the American logo on the side. I love the print of Sailor Moon. She looks very determined. Like that determination totally works with the style of this shoe. And instead of going with the pastel colors, we get something that's a little bit darker. So we have this black pink theme, which I believe is also the name of these shoes. So you still have that bubbly cuteness to them, but it's black pink, so a little bit more punk. On the inner side, on this one, we have Mercury and Mars. And on the other shoe, on the inside, we have Jupiter and Venus. Again, these don't have a lot of arch support, 
definitely something to consider, but they do have a lot of padding on the sides. And if you are somebody who is skateboarding, you may wanna consider these because of that nice protection around your ankle. Now these are rather stiff right now, so they may be a little hard to move around in, but I feel like over time, if these get kind of worn in, that will be a lot easier to move around. This next pair of shoes, was the grail that I was looking forward to getting. These ones were really cute. I had to get them. They're the platforms. Never in my life would I have thought that Vans would introduce Sailor Moon platforms, which make me feel like I belong in a J-pop girl band. Like these are so cute. They're so kawaii. These are like, ugh, I love them. I love everything about these. They are so awesome. They are true to size. Let's check arch support. There's a little bit of arch support in these, a little bit more. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit more of an arch support in there. Not as much as the Comfy Kush slip-ons, again. What I really love about these is the sparkly bottom to them. So you have this really cool clear sparkly rubber bottom part. Up at the front, you have the planetary symbols for the inner Sailor Scouts. And then behind that, you also have this wonderful gradient of pink and white that very much shows off the Sailor Moon logo, which is printed in black. This feature goes all the way around. And then even on the bottom, sorry, they're dirty. I have been wearing these. You also have that clear sparkly rubber bottom. These are like a silver satin. So they are very shiny. They're very pretty. They do scuff pretty easily. For example, on this one, I do have some scuffs on the front of these. So I know that I'm gonna dirty these over time, but that's why I purchased them, not to sit on my shelf, but for me to actually get use out of them. I mean, these were expensive shoes, let's be honest. So we better be wearing them, right? And of course up at the top, because these are modeled just like the skate highs, you do have this taller ankle and we have this awesome print of Sailor Moon's Fuku bow, her compact, and her collar. I kind of love that because it makes me feel like I should be wearing like a Sailor Senshi, Sailor Guardian uniform when I'm wearing these. I feel like these are constructed really well. I don't think these are gonna fall apart over time. They just feel like they have a lot of quality workmanship put into them. They're very girly. You even have some silver texture for the Vans logo on the tongue. One caveat to wearing platforms is these are definitely much more heavier than these. So these skate highs may be the best option for you if you are a little hesitant about wearing shoes that are that have a little bit more heft to them. And most of that heft is because of all this extra bulk down at the bottom because they are platforms. But if I'm just wearing them out to like go on errands or go on a date night, which is what I already did, they don't really tire out my feet. So I'm very happy that I got the platforms. Let's move on to the last ones for this video, which are the Lizzie Armanto capsule collection. The Lizzie Armanto slip-ons were definitely more hugging than these ones. Uh, they were more narrow, and I would say they are definitely tighter in sizing than these regular slip-ons. So if you're looking for slip-ons that are true to size, I would say get these. If you're looking for the Lizzie Armanto slip-ons specifically, you may want to consider sizing up by a half size just to make sure that those fit comfortably on your feet because I did find that those were the most narrow and they were the most form-fitting. They were still comfortable to wear and I think that over time Vans is known for loosening up a little bit on their shoes, but those in particular, I would probably size up a half size. So I did not keep those and I didn't keep the checkerboard ones. The checkerboard ones also glow in the dark. So very similar to these two. Moving on, let's talk about Lizzie. Now, a big question for a lot of people was how do the Lizzie's fit? I already told you about the slip-ons. I will tell you about these two now. So Lizzie Armanto is a famous skateboarder. Uh, she has had a few collaborations with Vans. So I was able to find out some information about why these shoes fit differently. It's because they scanned her foot. So this is called the Lizzie. They did like a 3D scan of her foot when they made this shoe. She mentioned in a few interviews with different outlets that most skateboarding shoes are molded after men's feet, which is why you may find that these are a little bit more of a looser fit. In the case of the Lizzie, 
these, which are kind of a high top, these are formed after her foot. So they are more narrow. They are more form fitting. So they're going to hug your foot much differently. But you will also find that if I hold these up side by side with a regular van shoe, you'll notice that from top to bottom, they're the exact same size. So if you have a narrow foot, if you're not a wide footed person, if you get a size eight in these, then you can probably get a size eight in these too and feel just fine. If you have a bit of a wider foot, then you may notice that these are going to hug and feel a lot more snug. And that's because they are definitely more narrow. So it really depends on your feet. I would highly recommend trying on two sizes if you can with these just to make sure especially if you're used to regular vans sizing so i hope that clears up any confusion on the lizzie's so with the sizing out of the way let's talk a little bit about how these fit now these do have a little bit of arch support you can definitely feel some of the arch support on the sole at the bottom so it does feel very comfortable when you wear it the lining is going to be a bit slimming so when you wear these they're going to hug your foot quite a bit more. You can loosen the laces a little bit, but that's not going to change how they fit right here at the bottom. So if you already have a wide foot, again, size up. I love that there's just a little bit of cushioning detail on the sides here. You can definitely feel some of that cushioning along the edges on both sides. It's very, very comfortable. I love that you have Lizzie's signature branding on the front of the tongue. That's so cool. And these do include this really nice high quality suede. They look really beautiful. They're kind of understated. They obviously have a lot of anime print on them. This is not manga, it's black and white anime print, but you do get all of the inner Sailor Guardians featured on these as well. So you have Mars and Mercury on the inside of this foot. You have Sailor Moon on the other side. On the other Lizzie, you have Sailor Moon on the outside and you have Venus and Jupiter on the inside. The Lizzie's also come with two different laces. So they come with the black ones already put into the shoe and then you also have white ones. Again, I tried these on and I was not sure until I actually put them on, but these quickly became one of my favorite pair. I would highly recommend these, especially if you want something that's a little bit more narrow or more form fitted to your foot. I think these are called the old schools. Yes, they're the skate old schools from Vans. These are also from the Lizzie Armanto collection. So you do have the same printing style on both sides featuring all the same prints. I love that really great picture of Sailor Moon on the side so cute. The other one has, again, Jupiter and Venus, and then you have the same print on the outside. These, again, are also suede, and just like my other Authentics, these ones also have quite a bit of padding along the edges, so very comfortable to wear. These, again, feel really, really nice. Now, these actually came in men's sizes, but I would say they are easily unisex. I was able to wear these in my normal size, which is a women's eight, and they fit just fine. They also come with two lace colors, and these also have a little bit more of that arch support. Now, I love the fact that these ones have a few additional little features with the art. Like we have Bashojo Senshi Sera Moon right here, written on the outside. And you also have that compact, it's more like stamped into the suede or burnt into the suede. It's not embroidered. So are these ones true to size? Yes, I would say that they are. They are definitely true to size when compared to other ones that are a women's eight. And of the three Lizzie's, if you're intending to get at least one of these black and white collection, these are probably the ones that are the closest in size to the regular vans. They are not as slimming, they are not as narrow compared to the Lizzie's or the slip-ons from the Lizzie collection. Okay, let's chat about these LaCosta slides. So these were kind of weird. They came out a little bit later than everything else. So everybody was searching online for these things until they actually dropped and then they sold out pretty quickly, but they ended up coming back in stock. So they ended up being really easy to grab if you wanted your own pair in your own size. I ended up not sizing up, even though a lot of people online were saying that you probably should because of the padding on the interior of these slides, but I ended up going with my regular size, a size eight. Now these are really cool because if you look at the art on the front of them, obviously this is the same as the Vans boxes, the shoe boxes, but it's lenticular art. So when you move them around, when you shift them right and left, up and down, you'll notice that the background 
behind the characters changes. So if you shift it one way, you can see Tokyo Tower. If you shift it another way, you can see a tall skyscraper. I thought that was really cool. And I really like how they chose to include lenticular art on these shoes to give them a kind of a cool effect. Each of these shoes features the different characters. So you have Moon and Mars on one, and then you have the other inner guardians on the other. Here you can see some of the padding on the interior of these slides, which goes directly over the top part of your foot. It is very, very padded. It almost feels like memory foam, but not quite. And the bottom of these for your soles is very, very comfortable as well. So I was really happy with wearing these. This next pair was the very last pair that was was released here in the United States. These are the Overt CC sneakers in old school. So this is an old school model and they're so interesting. So it was very hard to find these. A lot of people weren't sure, sure if we were going to get them in the United States or not. We finally did and I was able to purchase some. They come with ribbons instead of laces. The ribbons did end up kind of fraying at the end, so I burnt the ends so that they wouldn't continue to fray. They also have a cute little metal compact on the front of them, and then they have pink text on the back, and they also have this pink strip around the bottom of the shoe, and the bottom of the shoe is actually pink as well. You do have that checkered front, and you have some art of Luna and Sailor Moon on the two sneakers on the two sides, and that is made out of suede, I believe. Now the inside of these is so interesting because you can remove the insole and it's almost like a Dr. Scholl's insole. It's super, super comfortable to wear, but I noticed, and this was unfortunate, the heel is so tall and so stiff that these give me terrible blisters whenever I wear them. So I can only wear them for a short period of time. I even tried putting in some padding along the back of them and they still give me blisters. So I do need to figure out how I can wear these more often because they are super cute and the bottom of them is just so comfortable. That was a big review. That was a lot of shoes to get through and I was trying to talk about every single little detail that y'all might have questions on and whew, I'm pooped. Definitely hit up the rest of my channel because I do have those other videos on my YouTube channel about this collaboration. Overall, I am very happy with my purchases. I'm definitely going to be wearing everything that you see here. Of course, that means over time they won't be in like collector condition, but I don't care. They're shoes. They're meant to be worn. At least that's my opinion. So that's what I'm doing here. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm on my way to 10K. I'm so excited about that. And if you see me walking around Denver in my Sailor Moon shoes, uh, say hello and let me know that you watch my channel. I would love to meet some more folks in the area who are big anime fans like I am. And don't worry, I don't bite. I am a very nice person and I love meeting people. So it's always fun to make new friends. So thank you again so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs. Janet.